everyone from OneWrestling.com. This is Bill After, face to face at the After Chat. Let's go all the way from Philadelphia down to Florida, person to person, as they used to say. Stevie Richards, welcome to the After Chat. Uh, thank you very much for having me. We just we were discussing before we came on the air that uh, everybody these days, at least for the past week or so, seems to hate people that live in Florida. Because it's 75 degrees down here, no yeah, snow or yeah. uh, nothing to what you guys are going through. Oh, no, I, I was outside uh, breaking ice and uh, shoveling and all that. But you know something, brother, that's what keeps the pythons going here, man. So he's from Florida, too. So uh, anyway, this is uh, what, what I like, what's so unique. Of There's a couple of unique things that I want to discuss about this. but And, and then I want to, of course, discuss why we're here, of course, talking about December 28th the uh, Extreme Rising event in Philadelphia where you will be defending the World Heavyweight Championship. But there are some firsts here. First of all, if you hear a little echo in the background, fans, do not adjust your computers. It's the cutting-edge technology of tell them what you're, uh, what you're on. Well, it was my bright idea. I always try to be different, Bill, just like you. And it was my bright idea to do the Skype interview via the Xbox One, the brand new video game console that just came out uh, this past November. So figured, you know, wrestling is big on first ever. So this is the first ever time uh, with me being on your chat and the first ever time using an Xbox One for one wrestling.com video. I think yeah, that's pretty is, cool. And, and you come across. So is, uh, this is your, uh, your living room. <laughs> oh, who's that? This is Snickers. Hey, she Snickers. has a Facebook page. Snickers has a hey. Facebook page? Uh, You're getting about... way too much personal information about Stevie Richards. Can, can you tweet <laughs> to Snickers as well? Uh, not yet. I'm trying to figure out if she wants a Twitter. She loves her Facebook page, but um, for now, she likes laying on the world title, which is right by her here. It acts yes. as her second bed. Now, what, what I want to do before we talk about the... Uh, uh, your defense on the 28th uh, in Philadelphia is this Xbox technology you were showing me no matter where you move in the room this will go with you correct oh uh, yeah Look at no matter where you spill your water off camera it'll, it'll follow you right? there too that would just happen that's what okay. i just did yeah and you can come closer and the camera will zoom yeah. in correct this is well it'll stay here then when i move back to the couch it'll zoom in further on the couch too yeah yeah so, so it's pretty it. interesting uh scary technology. technology it's always watching and listening so yeah, ah, yeah, it ah, sounds ah. as scary as it so is. This and Mr. Snowden and uh, and Xbox are now in the two uh, in the same category there, to, to getting all the secrets, finding it out. I will say this: I hope the NSA enjoys this interview. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are a lot of people don't know this, and I do because we've talked about this uh, before. You're quite the techie, aren't you? Oh, I've always loved technology. I, I really do liken it. There are two things that I love uh, in my life, which is wrestling and fitness in no particular order because all three of them you can be so creative at, and all three of them are always changing so quickly and never getting boring. So it's it's great to have those three so wait, passions wait, wait, in my let, life. Let's take those three passions, and you, you're saying the, uh, you've always been interested in them. So what has been the height, uh, let's take, of fitness for you at this point? has to be right now, uh, being certified in DDP yoga uh, and at the height of my my training and then moving to the next level in the certification process from level one to level two. And then we have level three and level four, which uh, means I have to try to tie myself up like a pretzel, I guess. Yeah, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't quite even looked at that. But I'd have to say all around as far as fitness, you know, outside of, uh, you know, lifting, cardio, yoga, I mean, all, the whole package, I really have a very... Um, a very good state of motivation along with uh, knowledge mixed in with it. What is um, What makes DDP yoga different than anything else you've ever done? Uh, the fact that the impact uh, or lack thereof, uh, you know, you can really raise your heart rate, you can burn calories, and also, of course, increase your flexibility uh, just as a byproduct of the first two uh, with no impact. And, you know, if you've been around wrestlers all your life, Bill, yep. uh, the knees, the hips, the Every joint, the elbows, the neck, the spine, all take a great deal of punishment and impact. Uh, and DDP yoga not only helps give therapy to that, but also strengthens those areas so I don't feel like hell after I'm done having That's a long great. match like I will on the 28th. Yeah, yeah. And uh, while, while you were down there, did you uh, uh, see Scott Hall or uh, Jake Roberts or both of them? 
Yeah, yeah, I saw um, I saw Scott real quick. I saw Jake for the duration I was there to get certified at the crib. Yeah. And, of course, I spent a lot of time with DDP and Dylan and uh, the yoga doc. It's, you know, it's a very empowerful, empowering uh, place to be because when you're in that place with all those people just hustling around and doing so many positive, productive things, you really f- come out of there feeling like you can accomplish anything. Yeah, you it's get a great... up on it. And, uh, yes. It's terrific. It's terrific. Well, we, uh, we're glad that you... Uh, what made you take that on, by the way? Uh, just like any other guy in his 40s, I was backed into a corner and I had no choice. <laughs> I got to a point where, uh, you know, injuries and even just wear and tear on my knees and my joints. Uh, I'm not quite as, you know, in the spot that Scott Hall or Jake Roberts were in, but, you know, we all head that way when we continue to wrestle under our yeah, 40s and yeah, sometimes yeah. 50s. So... I, I was ahead of the curve. Ahead, you know, Paige says I'm ahead of him because I realized that, you know, that when I was getting to be about 39 or 40 years old, I better start incorporating this into my workout, not as a as an addition or auxiliary part of the main workout, mm-hmm. but the DDP yoga is the main workout, and the weights and the cardio and the outside type of uh, workouts are the auxiliary to that. Okay. Okay. So like any other guy, I said, oh man, yoga, I'll never be caught dead doing yeah doing that then. I couldn't do as much cardio. I couldn't lift as much because my joints were killing me. And then I said, well, I don't have a choice. I need to do this to at least rehab my body. Right. And then I became obsessed and, and, and addicted to it. That's great. And we'll see, of course, if uh, how much that helps you in your uh, title defense on uh, at Extreme Rising <laughs> on the 28th. Let's talk about the height of technology for you. That was your, uh, your second passion. Sure. Uh, the height of technology would have to be right now with the Xbox One and the PS4. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then next year, it could be something different. Technology always has um, a curve that keeps being raised, a bar that keeps being raised. So I can't say that we are in the height of technology. I would say probably the pinnacle where everything changed is when the first iPhone came out because that, that was mm-hmm. basically a culture-changing event. Right, Phones right. changed, the way people use them changed, uh, the way people interact, social media came from that. I think the first iPhone set in motion, uh, the iPad, the tablet revolution, Yeah, I everything. love it, by the way, now. Uh, I used to get annoyed at concerts when people held their cell phones up after the mm-hmm. announcement, no video or pho- photos to be taken, and I could barely see b- behind their cell phones. Now they pick up the mini iPads, so it drives me crazy. <laughs> drives me crazy. So uh, uh, now, now you, um, uh, what a lot of people don't know is that there are a lot of companies that utilize your services uh, in technology. Correct. I work with, you know, having the T4 show, uh, Tech Today, Tech Tomorrow. Uh, I'm basically a tech reviewer or a tech wait, wait, pundit. Let, let, let's start off the, T, the T4 show. Sure. Tell everybody about it, where, where they can. Uh... Uh, well, you can go to the letter T, the number four, S-H-O-W, that's T4show.com. Uh, it's been around since January 2007, and it's always been uh, in, like in, in the days of W. don't know about it, so I want to educate them. They don't know about it. No, they don't. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I didn't do it for the for the recognition or anything like that. I just did it because I love it. Yeah. But it's funny because in, in during, during that time in 2007 and 2008, even a couple of years before in WWE, I wasn't being creatively satisfied. Obviously, if you watch television and you see me in the ring coming back from commercial, you pretty much know what's going to happen. So I didn't really get to perform uh, to the best of my ability at that time. And that's just a that's just a hazard of being a professional wrestling. So the T4 show was something I needed for creative control to control an outlet for myself. So and then it just kept growing and growing. So over six years later, it's uh, been it's going on there. seven now. Yeah. It's a, it's a really a passion. But I love my my mission statement with T4 Show is not working with the companies, but in 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 a way working for the consumers. So I talk to the companies and give them feedback on, you know, this may be priced a little too high. This may not have the feature set. Uh, the common person who's never picked up this device would not know how to use it. You should think about redoing the UI. So I'm pretty much the go between between consumer and company. Got it. Got it. What do you think about uh, WWE? Of course, is on the cutting edge of technology now with their second screen experience on on iPhones and stuff like that. It seems that they're opening more and more. Uh, doors uh, in terms of technology where uh, do you think one of these days and people have asked me this that people aren't going to watch 
TV anymore. It's going to be like Roku. Everybody's just going to uh, watch everything on uh, the big screen that's going to be streaming. I sure hope so, because I think the main reason that a lot of men at least keep the cable uh, subscriptions is just for the sports. Yeah. If I can get an a la carte or a smaller package of stuff for sports, I feel like Dr. Evil with the cat on my lap. <laughs> uh, I, um, can you do a Dr. Evil, by the way? I can. Okay. I'd, I'd really love to get a million dollars right now. Yes, that would be yes, great. Yes. <laughs> that's, my, that's my awful impression of Dr. Evil. Um, <laughs> But, you know, it would be great to, and that's gonna, it's going to happen, but legacy com media companies are not going to let go of that. There's too much money, too many deals, too much stuff in the complete packaging, the bundling of these technologies. To let it get away uh, from them, of course. Yeah, magazine companies and paper companies, they finally fell recently, but it took well, forever. It, it, if you look at, you know, Pro Wrestling Illustrated is still out there. Fighting Spirit Magazine that I work for in uh, Britain is still out there, uh, but remember all the wrestling magazines i mean the the print industry has gone way of the internet so you either uh, go with it or uh, you're almost out of there yeah and that's more of the, of the fact not not the niche uh type of type of uh subscriptions like wrestling or fighting spirit or even some mma ones i'm talking about new york times wall street journal oh, sure. the bigger the philadelphia Inquirer. they they see they see you're more profit they're bigger in... than wrestling magazines uh, I would not on this show. Maybe another one. <laughs> <laughs> now, so let's take uh, the third passion again. They're not in in any kind of order, but uh, pro wrestling. What's been the height so far? I'd probably say this right here. Uh, yeah, hold that up. This open right it, here. Open it up and show open it, it up. Your, your, bring, I don't want it to hit me. Bring in it. The, bring it out see, to the camera though, so see, we can see a close. Well, it doesn't have facial recognition for the belt yet. I'm gonna right have there. to add that no, after no, I that defend looks the great. belt. That looks absolutely... It does. Wait a minute. Wait well, a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Here's what sure. I want to do because I'm going to take a video. Oh, not the office it. championship. No, Stop I, it. No, we're going to okay. talk about that, but put it next to your head if you would. Put it next to your face. Put the belt next to your face and come in with it. Come in with it. I want to take a video. I'm going to take a video still of this while you're doing And look right into the camera. That's it. Now hold that for 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. That's going to... See that little light behind me? That's where that's yeah. going. So let's talk about Extreme Rising. Uh, December 28th, you're going back to the, uh, the place where so much of your career and the Blue World Order and so many great things happened to you back, uh, back to uh, Rittner. Uh, is it Rittner? I always say Rittner Street. Uh, Swanson and Rittner. Swanson and Rittner down near Oregon Avenue and then afterwards at the Oregon Diner where we all used to go and hang out afterwards. By the way, they take credit card now. They used to only take cash. They now take credit card. Yeah, I always assumed they were a front for something else because of that, but it's well, what, good to see them come What up. happened the last time I went in there, uh, probably about two or three years ago, uh, I had gotten a meal and I gave them my credit card. And she said, no credit card. So it's, well, the bill was like $12. So I went to my car and I had about $9 worth of change in a bag for tolls before I got an easy pass. <laughs> and I brought it in there and I said, it's $3 short. I said, I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. She said, sure you will, honey. And I brought it back the next day, and she gave me a dirty look and didn't even talk to me. So, uh, But that was a great place. I love the order. Welcome to Philly. Great. Yes, welcome to, yo, welcome to Philly. So tell us how, uh, how you, uh, a lot of people don't know, uh, tell us about how you won the, uh, the championship. You know, it's really a throwback to, to things that used to excite me when I watched NWA, uh, even even uh, uh, WCW and WWF back in the day uh, when they would have tournaments. And, uh, you know, it wasn't a one-night tournament like, say, the Crockett Cup or when they had the one-night tournament at WrestleMania Four. but uh, we had the first-round tournament in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, it was me and Greek guy Papadon, really, really good first-round match. Terrific wrestler. Yeah, awesome. yeah, I really enjoy. I really enjoy the fact that I get to wrestle uh, for Extreme Rising, and that tournament was all about wrestling. Uh, then the next uh, one was somebody you had on the show just a little while ago, uh, Luke Hawks, Luke Hawks which yes. everybody, everybody guessed that would have been the finals, but they got treated to the semifinals. And then, of course, it was me and Rhino in the uh, yeah. in the finals yeah. at a very late. I actually took a nap before the main event because I it was 1 a.m. well past my bedtime, Bill, and uh, <laughs> uh, but time. it was good. Yeah, it was very good to see the fans uh, that night, too, especially after everything we went through from the first show with all the stuff outside the ring that happened. We, were, we, were talking, we had a little technical glitch there. This is technology here, fans. And uh, so we were talking about Rhino, and it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. 
Yeah, the, the, the finals went on around. It had to be anywhere between 12.45 and 1 a.m. And um, it was just great, though. You know, I got reinvigorated by that. Being out there with Rhino, and I believe it or not, I never wrestled Rhino before in my entire career. Is so right? What? And yes, you've been in dressing rooms with him many, many times. Yeah, yeah, and we've been on the same side when we were both in WWE and the you know the the new ECW and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but no, we um we that was the first time ever wrestling, so it's a little bit of, wow. uh, you know, me and Papadon first time ever wrestling. So there was a lot of good first ever matches, and there's the cat's tail. Look at that cat's tail <laughs> in the camera. I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey, Stickers. All you cat lovers, oh, by God. the way, no, the cat is not being harmed in any way, shape, or form. No, right. no, I love her. She right. never, we she hates this, but we I love her. You. Oh, we're back to a wide shot here again. But go ahead. Yeah. So uh, you won the belt in the tournament final from Rhino. Yeah, it was exciting. And you know what's interesting is I, I tried to do something a little different in those matches, Bill. Uh, you know, because everybody knows me from the Stevie kick and uh, the other moves that I do. Uh, but I really wanted to incorporate some, some submission wrestling. I've been working out with guys on American Top Team down here in Coconut Creek, Florida. And they were showing me a couple things. And then, you know, I decided to go with the Koji Clutch yeah, uh, because yeah. Christopher Daniels is one of my favorite wrestlers, if not one of my favorite people as well. And I always really like – what's that? He's terrific. Yeah, and I always like that move because it, you can always hit it out of anywhere. It always uh, could be locked on, and it just looked – every bit as tight as it as it seemed or at least i've been told it's been yeah, a yeah, very tight yeah, hold to yeah, be in yeah. so you know i won all three of those matches by submission too so it was it was um, another way to to launch me as extreme rising champion to win all three matches in the tournament by submission yes 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 you should be very uh, proud of it and you are so now let's move on to december 28th in philadelphia okay. And uh, at the arena, well, what are we calling the arena these days now? I think that's all we're calling Just it. I the think arena. there's some sort of way to be scared to call it the ECW arena, yeah. and then they called it the CZW arena, and then they called it the anything but well, wrestling we all, we, arena. We all know where it is and what, all the great yeah. things that took place there. So now, something different, because you are going in there to defend this World Heavyweight Championship against an unknown opponent now some people have said to me uh jokingly hey maybe it'll be uh blue meanie or uh, you know one of the bwo but um there are a lot of guys on the roster who are going to be there that night of course that are gunning for your title tell us about some of the people that are uh, going to be competing that night luke hawks of course uh, sabu mm -hmm. Yeah, Luke Hawks is going to wrestle Matt Hardy, and I have yeah. the sneaking suspicion that they aren't the best of friends from what I've heard uh, Luke correct. and Matt say about each other. There's a lot of personal issues there. Yeah, and uh, then we have Facade and Sabu, which I'm yes. personally and selfishly looking forward to. That's a yeah, first-time-ever match, to too. Well. Yeah, and, um, you know, our three matches are pretty much the most advertised matches, but we're going to have plenty more. Uh, it's going to be a TV taping as well. So it's a really good, you know, it'll be right after Christmas. It's probably a really good stocking stuffer to buy a couple tickets to the show. And, and if you live in Philly, it's not that far of a drive. The weather's supposed to be pretty good, too. So it no is. snow or great, ice like last year. Present. Yeah, great holiday yeah. present. So if people go to uh, ExtremeRising.com, they can find out, of course, all the details of where to buy tickets, et cetera. So do you have any inkling at all? Because do you, can I tell you the rumor that I hear? And it's strictly a rumor. I'm not going to mention a name because I don't want sure. to get us into any tassels. and gossip? Go ahead. Well, I'm not a gossip guy, but I'm talking about rumors. I usually don't print or talk about anything unless I hear it's confirmed. But somebody today said to me, hey, that guy that just left TNA who was, you know, on the top of their roster for a long time, maybe it's going to be him. I would love it. I would love it. I, I would love for it to be AJ Styles. I would love for him to come in. Uh, he's never been beaten as TNA World Champion, so I would look at it yeah. very much like a sort of champion versus champion match. Yeah. Uh, I respect AJ. I've traveled with AJ, so we've been friends. But we're very, especially when it comes to playing this, <laughs> video games, we're very, very competitive. So I, I can see things in the ring getting very competitive as well. We're two, two people that are very competitive in life and want to be the best at what we do, no matter what it is, no matter how mundane or small it may be. Uh, so that would be great. I mean, that's probably my guess, Bill, is it's not going to be anybody internally with Extreme Rising. It's going to be somebody they bring out, bring an outside as an attraction. Because yeah. usually the mystery opponent is somebody, 
you've never seen in that in that oh, space sure. and again, with me. This is nothing I know. This is rumor that is. Going I think you know that that people are talking <laughs> about. No, I, I, I wish I uh, I wish I did. But uh, several people today uh, asked me about that, and I said uh, I have no idea. They said, "Well, he's a free agent right now." I said, "Could be him. Could be ten different guys." Mm -hmm. You know what? It also, and I haven't heard a peep from him, but. People could finally get the Raven Stevie Richards match that we were supposed to have in April. Now that's another name that that's come across uh, uh, my uh, my desk as well. Raven. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if that's a possibility, but it would bring a lot of closure, and to do it in the arena would be even better than doing it in the Armory where we originally had it scheduled. Well, you know what? Whoever though, as fine as a competitor as you are, especially after the DDP Yoga. Yes. Um, what, whoever the challenger is, uh, you're going to have a big run for your money. I'll tell you one challenger that I that if they ever challenged me for this, that they would fail miserably, and that's Sugar Mask. If Sugar Mask ever challenged me in Madden to this, like we were supposed to have our match last year, it would not bode well for him. I would completely squash his Cowboys, and quite frankly, I think he's a bitch. I think oh. he's a coward that hides behind his mask. And, yeah, I wear this belt when I beat you in Madden, Sugar Mask. That's right. I wear it, and I parade around the house and show it to the cats. You're a bitch. <laughs> there there, there you some, are. There That's some, how you trash talk in video games, Bill, by the there's way. There's someone else you were talking about earlier uh, uh, off-camera that uh, you were uh, very competitive with on video games. I think, was it Danny Doring? Yeah, him too. Hey, he's not Sugar Mask. These are two separate people that yes, I'm talking I, I about. Know so, that. I know that. Danny Doring, he's also a bitch when it comes to video games, and I would crush him every any day of the week. I don't know if we can say that on here, but we said it already, so that's... Oh, sorry. I won't say bitch again. I'm sorry. Okay, please don't say that again. So now, also, uh, do, do you play... And let's, uh, once again, invite everyone to, uh, you know, make sure they're at the arena on December 28th. Go to ExtremeRising.com. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite ever pro wrestling video game oh that would have to be uh fire pro returns and it's actually available on the ps3 uh, as a digital download for 10 bucks very affordable game uh and you can use a usb thumb drive to download there's a, there's clubs that basically update all the rosters so when new talent comes into wwe tna or even the classic uh rosters that we grew up with bill yeah uh they they update that with the costumes with the rings it's an amazing game it's so deep and so much fun to play That's cool. um yeah it's really really good speaking of the arena though i just want to back up for a second please do. i'm trying to, to i'm trying to get um the time and trying to get the logistics so i can do it but i'm thinking about teaching a ddp yoga class maybe two at the arena before the show. That would be incredible. Yeah, That'd it'd be, be great. Keep us posted. Let us know if you're going to do that. So we can, I will. We can uh, publicize it too. Have you uh, tried the new uh, WrestleMania 2K14? I have not, no. Because now I, I have the next-gen systems, which the current 2K14, I don't think it came out for Xbox One and PS4 yet. Think, right, right, right. Yeah, so, no. so they're not backwards compatible. Yeah, we have Big Ray, yeah. one of our... Uh, uh, our main guys over at OneWrestling.com doing a review on that one. So uh, I was curious if you've seen it or played it yet. I've seen the, the I've seen the videos. It looks pretty amazing and yeah, it's pretty deep. Yeah. Uh, but I still go back to the Fire Pro Wrestling and even some of the Japanese games, like All Japan and New Japan. Uh, All Japan seen, is giant. I've grim. never seen any of them. Haven't seen those them. two are for Dreamcast. That's yeah. how far back that goes. Wow. Wow. There's also WCW versus NWO on Nintendo 64. That I've seen. I still play Space Invaders. Come on. That's still a great game. The, the classic game. games are fun for a reason. It's still a great and, game. Stevie Richards, thank you so much for joining us here on uh, OneWrestling.com. Uh, good luck in your title defense on uh, December 28th. If you're watching this, of course, after it's happened, boy, what a hell of a match that was. It was. I can't believe it. I can't believe who it was, Bill. I can't Can believe, you believe who it? it was either, and I can't believe the result. Me neither. Very Shocking. Happy New Year if after January 1st, too. For Stevie Richards, <laughs> this is Bill After. We'll see you at the matches. December 28th, Extreme Rising. Down.